morning. This is JHS Weekly. I'm Garrett Camp. And I'm Natalie Millman. Joplin High School is becoming a bit more colorful. JHD reporter Alex Carson shows us an event that is driving home a new JHS tradition. Around 50 Joplin High School seniors and their families gather to add a splash of color to the parking lot at JHS. They're painting parking spots reserved for their cars. Senior Anna Barnhart says the event is not just a way to reserve a space to park, but an opportunity to have fun as a class. I think it's really awesome because they've tried to do it for a couple of years and, you know, with some new leadership changes and stuff like that, and now it's a new experience. And it's all, it's, it is fun and it's cool to look at the parking spots, but it's also a bonding experience, like sharing equipment with other people and just, just a really fun experience. She says it's been a chance for her to express her creative side with her classmates. The seniors were given almost full artistic control, and Anna believes that the designs they came up with didn't disappoint. I am doing a SpongeBob design, and it says four years later. I've seen a lot of Taylor Swift. I've seen a lot of, like, just bright colors, like whimsical colors. But I, I also saw a Nemo one. That was pretty cool. And so I think it's just a mix of, like, pop culture and... Fun. Senior Aiden Koch also enjoyed the festivities, but the actual painting was not his favorite part. Uh, well, it's it's definitely not putting the white base layer on. That is very difficult, and it's a lot harder than I thought. Uh, my favorite part, honestly, is just kind of being with my friends, you know, for like an afternoon, painting together, listening to some music. But painting the parking spots isn't just a way to beautify Joplin High School. It's also an important fundraiser for the seniors. Students paid $30 to reserve a space to paint, and Gwendolyn Sampson helped organize the event for Project Graduation. I've seen so much excitement today. They're super excited to have this opportunity. It's just a fun way to commemorate this uh, final year for them. Um, and this will be their designated parking spot for the remainder of the school year. So that's also a great benefit to them. And it's just a fun way to express themselves artistically and to just have some good fun together. Project Graduation is a safe party that takes place the night of graduation. This fundraiser helped raise almost $1,000 for I mean, the party. Am, but, Reporting for JetHD, I'm Alex Carson. Listen up, artists. There's a chance for you to earn $100 or even $1,000. JDC's Darian Crawford takes us to the Spiva Event Art Gallery to show us the art entered into this contest this year for a big prize. The 79th anniversary of Spiva Art Center showcased art from nearly 100 local artists. Sean Conroy is the exhibits director. Work with artists to um, put together exhibits, curate exhibits. Uh, lay out the exhibits, hang the exhibits, unpack stuff as it comes, pack stuff that needs to go back out. So basically, if it's in this gallery space, that's my responsibility. The gallery is hosting a yearly competition that spotlights some of the best photos and also artwork from local photographers and artists. But how does the artists get showcased in the gallery? Um, we have an exhibits committee here and we get together and discuss uh, they bring ideas. Sometimes we have people apply for exhibits here, uh, especially local people. And we look over that and think about, you know, trying to offer a variety of things to our audience here. So if we haven't had a, a good 3D exhibit for a while, then we, you know, seek out a 3D exhibit. He is also responsible for finding a judge for the winners of the art competition. Adult artists can win around $3,000, and kids 17 and younger can win $600. Um, another thing I do is we have a, an annual exhibit called Photo Spiva, and it's a national competition. And I, I have to find a juror for that every year, someone who will pick the, the exhibit and then also pick the winners at the end. There's other things I do. But those are the primary things. You have until January 1st to enter both competitions. You can enter at spivaart.com. Reporting for JetHD, this is Darian Crawford. Winter is coming and you don't want to be stuck in the cold. The JHS JAG program are selling blankets to raise money. They made this short video. Let's check it out. Burr, it's cold. Are you cold? Come get a blanket at Big Cozy Blanket Company. $20 for a school color blanket. $25 for a custom blanket. There's, There's no need to be cold. When you can buy a blanket at Big Cozy Blanket Company. One of our own Joplin High School and Franklin Technology teachers cannot wait to celebrate the holidays. And you might not believe this secret identity. JetHD's Noah Newman gets to look into this pr special project for Christmas. During the day, Dave Smith teaches audio productions and film. But during the holiday season, keep it on the down low, but he's Santa. Well, I have been a professional Santa Claus for over 15 years. 
And I've made a lot of appearances in a lot of different places around Joplin and the surrounding area, the four state area. I've done some national things as well. This year, he'll be performing a special Santa themed play he's written in the Harry M. Cornell Arts and Entertainment Complex in Joplin. So I've written, written a book, it's called Lost in the Nick of Time. And then I thought it would be great if we could bring that whole book to life on the stage. It's called An Evening in Kringle City, and it's going to be performed, premiered for the first time here in Joplin at the new Harry M. Cornell Arts and Entertainment Complex. Alongside his role as Santa Claus, Anne-Marie Wright will be his co-star in the play, starring as Holly, Santa's elf. So I play Holly the Elf, which is Santa's CEA, or Chief Elf Assistant. She handles all of Santa's business, makes sure he's comfortable right when he gets home from his Christmas flights, all that, all that jazz. She says working alongside Smith has been great, but it's been a lot of work. As is any production, it is a lot of work goes into it, a lot of rehearsal time, a lot of preparation outside of when you come and rehearse in the space, but all of the hard work is, is always, always worth it. We're doing it because we want to create a, an incredible lasting memory for the people in the four state area and we want to uh, have them have a lot of fun, but also be touched by the message of the show. It seems that even though November has just started, the spirit of Christmas has already swept through Joplin. The play is on December 1st. If you would like to buy tickets, you can do so online at connect2culture.org. Reporting for JHD, this is Noah Newman. And if you're in the giving spirit, some foster kids in the area could use your help. Mr. Curtis with Franklin Tech is hosting this year's Christmas of Hope fundraising campaign. Here's more info about the project. Look to your left and look to your right. You probably don't know who's in foster care. There's over 600 foster kids around our area. The holidays are just around the corner, and we challenge you to make a difference. We have 10 school days to raise $5,000. Each $50 sponsors one child. Whatever you can give can make Christmas a possibility for those in foster care. A little hope can go a long way. We call this Kids Helping Kids. Each first hour is collecting $50 for the kids. They are collecting the money until November 20th, so please give the kids a special Christmas. Every year, families around the nation come together to give thanks and eat food. I had a chance to see what people's favorite and least favorite Thanksgiving foods are. Let's go see what they are. Hello and welcome back to another Man on the Street. My name is Garrett Camp and today I'm going to be asking my fellow classmates what their favorite and least favorite Thanksgiving food is. Uh, ham cooked with pineapple is my favorite. And then uh, starving to death is my least favorite, I'd have to say. All right, Mr. Lopez, what is your favorite and least favorite Thanksgiving food? Thanksgiving food is a cranberry sauce, because that stuff's just amazing. My least favorite would probably be um, the turkey, because I hate turkey. Favorite? Scalp potatoes. It's underrated. And least favorite? Probably cranberry sauce. I just don't get it. Same. We think alike. Thank you. A ham. Ham's your favorite. What's your least favorite? Um, chicken wings. Chicken wings. That's an interesting Thanksgiving food. Anyway, thank you, sir. My favorite thing is uh, pumpkin pie. What's your least favorite? Um, well, it's so hard to eat mashed potatoes and stuff, and also uh, turkey and cranberries. Dang. Are you like you hate the main course turkey? Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, turkey is kind of bland. Chicken's better. All right. Thank you, sir. Um, turkey and ham. And your least favorite? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? Yeah, pumpkin pie is kind of, it's eh. I've tried to make myself like it, but I just can't. All right, thank you, sir. Giving food is dressing or stuffing. Least favorite? Boy, that's hard. I like everything. Yeah. I like everything. The least favorite might be sweet potatoes. I'll eat them though, so, you know, dressing. I don't really like sweet, I don't like them that I don't like sweet potatoes that much either. Batman. He's Batman, guys. <laughs> hey. 
yeah. cheese. I like their turkey and ham. I like stuffing, and I like green beans, and that's it. Got chicken, huh? Got chicken, ham, green beans, and potatoes, and good beef. I got two words for you. Ah, the Batman. Guys, I think he's Batman. Least favorite is that bread stuff. Or no, no, no. It's that like cold mac and cheese stuff that has like white s s like sauce. I have no idea what that is. No clue. I don't know what it is either, but it comes in like a plastic. Yes. I think uh, it's mac yeah, macaroni salad or something. I don't well, those are some pretty interesting answers if I don't say so myself. A lot of them I agreed with, like cranberries, stuffing, potato casserole, or sweet potato casserole, green bean casserole. They're all disgusting. So Garrett, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Honestly, mashed potatoes with turkey gravy would probably be mine. What about you? Uh, I don't know. I just like the pie. Mm. What are you going to be doing for Thanksgiving this year? I'm probably just going to go up to my grandparents' house. Yeah, I don't really know, really know what I'm going to do. Anyway, this has been JHS Weekly. Thanks for watching.